Hi and welcome everybody. Today we're going to look at Microsoft Word 2016 for a video request. The thoughtful guy says, I think it would have been better if you would have shown how to create an index or a table of contents on the first page. Great video nonetheless. Well, thank you for the comment, thoughtful guy. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a table of contents for your Microsoft Word 2016 files. Let's get started. All right, so we see, a Word doc we see a Word document right here. What's on it's not really important, but I need to show you a few things before you can get started with your table of contents. The first thing is in your Home tab, in your Styles group, you have to get familiar with these three headings right here. Heading one, heading two, and heading three. As you select text, say Overview, where maybe that's a main heading for you, you'd probably want that to be a heading one. Now subheadings are going to be heading two right so heading two right there maybe this is how the Omaha time exchange works that might be a heading two if I had a subheading within that it might be even be a heading three so on and so forth now the text that's preset on these headings can be modified in that styles group if you right click them and go to modify so don't think that just because it's showing up in blue that it has it stay in blue you can modify it to look however it wants now that you know about headings next thing you have to learn about is the navigation pane so if you go to the view tab and you go to the uh, show group you click on navigation pane if you click that checkbox that'll basically show all of your different heading one two and three items all right now these are very important because these are the things that appear on your table of contents so as you move through you could go to the home tab and you could click on the different items to see if they're heading one, two, or three. Okay. Now, um, that'll help you go ahead and set up the way that your table of contents will look originally. Now, the next thing that I like to do on my Word documents is insert a cover page. So to do that, you go to the insert tab and you go to cover page on the pages group on the left side and you can choose from a variety of preset cover pages by Microsoft Word. So you could choose any of those. You'll get your cover page set up. I've already done that up here on page one. And then what I do right before I insert my table of contents is I click at the bottom of that cover page. Okay, so just right there where my cursor is currently at is where I click. That's going to make it so that when I insert in my table of contents, it'll insert it in on the following page. So to insert your table of contents, you go to the references tab. And then on the table of contents group on the left side, you could click this button right here, table of contents. And when you click that, it's going to give you three different table styles, table style one, table style two, and a manual table right here. All right, you could also find more down here and create custom uh, table of contents down here as well. So I'm gonna choose just table of contents one just to show you what that looks like. I click that and then we see my table of contents appears on page two right below this cover page, all right? So table of contents one is preset. It'll automatically update if you click update table right there. And then right here you can click and I'm gonna show you the manual table now. So as you click manual table, you could actually type in what you want to be right here, okay? Now keep in mind when you insert a table of contents, usually that it has a page to itself. So make sure you click after that table of contents and insert a page break by going to the insert tab, pages group, page break. That way it inserts a nice page break in and you have a table of contents page all to itself on the second page of your Word document. So I hope that helps you understand how to use that table of contents in your Word documents. If you have a question or a video request yourself, put it in the comments section and I'll definitely respond or even make a video for you. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I encourage you to subscribe. I have videos on Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. Thank you so much for watching.